Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Belisa. Welcome to our channel. I'm not sure if you've been watching our videos lately where I've been talking about the pain that I experience about once a month in my teeth that then radiates up my cheek and across to my ear. I've been going to the doctor to try to figure out what's going on with that and today is the day I have to go in, get a CT scan, get some blood work done. I have appointments for both so let's head to Kaiser right now. Let's go. We've arrived at Kaiser. I'm gonna head inside and get checked in. I'm all checked in and I have a new pretty bracelet. First up, I had my CT scan. That is all finished. So what she did is she called me in, she invited me into the room and she had me lay down on a long, it was almost like a skinny bed, kind of like a gurney. So I laid down on that. I had to take my hat off, but I got to leave my mask on and stay fully dressed. I laid down and then I put my head between two really cozy, but pretty firm pillows. So it really held my head in place. She then told me that I can have my eyes open or closed, it doesn't matter, but that at this point she's going to move me into the machine and that, that at that point I have to be perfectly still. The movement into the machine was so gentle and so quiet, if I had my eyes closed I wouldn't have even known. So I get pulled into the machine and there's a couple of like green lights, but it's not obtrusive, they're just really gentle lights going off and on. And then the lights stop and then it moves me in and out a couple of different times at different intervals. It'll move just a little bit in, a little bit out. At one point then, she from behind reached in and kind of adjusted my head and tilted it just slightly with the pillows that were next to my head. Um, totally comfortable, everything was great. And at that point, I heard a very, very small sound start of eek, eek, eek but it wasn't loud at all. It was really, really comfortable, and I survived. The whole process of being in the tube lasted for about five minutes, and I went in and out of the tube probably eight times. It was a cinch, nothing to worry about, and now I'm just waiting to go get my blood work done. I survived, I got a bandage on my arm. They had to take four No, vials. six. Six? Yeah. No wonder I was faint. <laughs> six vials of blood, I did really good. I did get a little bit faint after it was totally done, but <laughs> my girl Darlene did really good. She poked, barely felt anything. So now, we don't know what we're gonna do with the rest of the day, but let's continue on. The next stupid thing my husband made me do today after already making me give blood is hike on out here, I'm go your, for a walk. I'm in your glasses. <laughs> it is almost 10 a.m., 96 degrees, feels like 102. What are you trying to do? Kill me out here? But man, when he gets on a kick that he's gonna lose 20 to 30 pounds, it don't matter if it's rain or shine, we're walking. And I'm telling you right now, just so you know, it's not raining, you guys. It's freaking hot out here. I mean, he's gonna like bring me out here to the desert, hike me around. This could be the end of Belisa right here. He's just gonna leave my bones out here to be bleached by the sun. Hopefully at least he'll bring the camera back out and show you. But after my weekend state, of giving blood, this is what I'm doing. Let's continue on. We're trying to figure out what this is. We see a ton of dog prints leading in. Do you think a dog did that and dug that hole down in there? It's so weird. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go trespassing. What? You loiter. You rebel. Okay, you loiter. Okay. Alright. Ready? Oh, okay. You loiter. Are you loitering? I'm loitering. Okay, I'm gonna trespass. Okay. I'm the trespasser. I'm the loiterer. <laughs> Such rebels we are. Are we in a no handshake zone? We really are troublemakers. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if I want to shake your hand though. I'm still mad at you. 
for this terrible day. <laughs> Look at this giant wild sunflower bush. It is like the hugest one I have ever seen. It's amazing. Oh, finally. I've made it to civilization. Oh, maybe I'm not gonna die out in the desert after all. <laughs> But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not walking home, just so you know. I got another idea. I'm thumbing it the rest of the way. Hike my shorts up here and maybe they'll feel bad for me even with my bandage. And someone will stop and give me a ride. I can't walk any further. Get home. Pretzel forward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a shorter way to go home. Why do we go this long way then? <laughs> I'm sweating. Suffer. I lost all this blood and now I'm losing all this sweat. I'm going to be so dehydrated. Good thing I brought some juice. <laughs> Mmm, Mott's 100% juice. Ding! She's now making it from shade to shade. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. <laughs> um, we now have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. There's no more shade. You're gonna have to go get the car. You fit. <laughs> <laughs> you almost fit, Wiley Coyote. <laughs> oh, my husband won't build me my own pool. I have to use the campground pool or my neighbor's pool. Today though, I've resorted to the sprinklers. <sighs> so refreshing. Should I take a little nap here? <sighs> All right. <laughs> and you know what do, Riley? It's wet out of here. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will keep you updated once I get the results back from my tests today. In the meantime, stay cool, don't take any wooden nickels, and stay in school. Oh, and don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!